When I went undercover with the black hat Orthodox Jews, I received warnings from Jewish believers in Jesus who were formerly Orthodox, that living as an Orthodox Jew can be a dangerous proposition. Criterion 3 explains why. People are encouraged to become more and more dependent upon the group, and Orthodox Judaism is very good at this. This increasing observance is a bit like approaching the event horizon of a black hole. The closer you get, the harder it is to escape. Once you hit the event horizon, it's game over for you. For many, this event horizon is marriage. Once you're married to an Orthodox Jew, and especially if the marriage produces children, you and your family are now totally hooked on the community and dependent upon them for everything. It's nearly impossible to get out without losing your entire family. When I was in the Orthodox community, they wanted to push this thing called Shidduch on me. Now, Shidduch is the term for the Jewish arranged marriage, which also doubles as the arrangement for dating. In the Orthodox community, a matchmaker sets up a man and woman for dating, and then follows up with each of them to see how well they got along. If the relationship goes well, a number of dates later, they become engaged and set a date to get married. I had steadfastly refused any attempts for me to get hooked up this way, since I knew the consequences of going along. Still, the Orthodox community may be a cult, but it's a very clever one. An Orthodox Jewish father who had a daughter named Rachel, who was a little bit younger than me, invited me over for a dinner on Shabbat. As he kept inviting me over and over to his family events, he put me in situations where I got to talk with Rachel and to help her out with certain things. As our relationship grew, I started to fall in love with her. We spent more and more time together, and I was personally torn. My uncle told me, uh, describing it as the undercover FBI agent who becomes so ingrained in mafia culture that he leaves the FBI to join the Mafia for real. The TV trope site has a label for this, Becoming the Mask. A character goes undercover and assumes a persona for so long that he becomes that persona. An example is the show Breaking Bad, in that show the mild-mannered school teacher Walter White assumes the persona of this vicious cutthroat drug lord known as Heisenberg. By the end of the series, Walt has become Heisenberg for real and ruins the lives of all the people he cared about. In my case, I conveniently had to move away from the Orthodox community and got to live in another state for work purposes. If not for this convenient set of circumstances, there might not be any messianic Drew. I might have been sucked in beyond the event horizon, beyond the point of no return. Let this be a warning of any others who might attempt this undercover infiltration. You may think you have an invincible set of apologetic arguments that keep you from getting sucked in into believing what the cult believes. As the messianic rabbis warned me, there are times when all the apologetic arguments in the world are no match for a strong enough emotional ploy. I spoke with others who nearly joined Orthodox groups, and their story is very close to mine. You think you are safe, but realize too late that you are much more vulnerable to getting sucked into the cult than you had ever previously thought. Shalom Aleichem.